Okay, uh, so yesterday, I finished playing the King of All Bad Guys. And we're gonna go do the Snow Planet Part 2 right now. Maybe do some Fighting Zoo first. Seems not terrible. I think I'll keep using it. We have the Aardvark Cup. So to pick his stupid name for a cup. Everyone can watch the Aardvark Cup. It's a fun fact of things that happen. Uh, so, so Piggy and I are planning on doing a um, the first quarter last push to get all the loose threads that we didn't finish before release. Because there just wasn't enough time to get the game done in the anniversary year and get everything done that we planned. We were just a little too ambitious. So we're going to wrap everything up. Uh, and I planned everything out. Like scheduled everything, so uh, that's uh, that's kind of all locked in now. It's gonna be pretty good. I got a few additional moves for all the characters coming. I think like three new flute cop moves between all the forms. Like each form gets three moves. There's gonna be a cool move for Bat Warthog Man. That's probably gonna make Soda Piggy hate life drawing it, but. It's gonna look spectacular when it happens. Okay, the Mecha Phantom. I got to name this bad guy. He's in like a little Ask Axe Cop thing. And I was like, hey Ethan, what is this name for this guy? And I said, right now I've got a placeholder name, and that's called the Mecha Phantom. And uh, we changed the colors of him, and not changed the colors, he's in black and white. And, um,. Basically designed him to be like the Phantasm from Batman Mask of the Phantasm, but adapted the Axe Cap design to it. So that was like super fun. I don't entirely remember how I set this guy up, so it's kind of interesting. I'm just kind of gonna go crazy on him. I know he's got like a form where you can, um. Where you can like beat. He like ups his evasion to a maximum or something. Yeah, that's it. Need special moves. Only special moves can hurt him. So if I didn't have a person that gave you special moves, I'd probably be dead here. So special moves. I think only um 
You have to throw some poop at him. Yep, he's evasion. Now's the time to throw poop at him. I guess he kind of did it on his own. That works out. Got him. Wasn't too bad. Now I got Phantom Cut. Dark Strike Loop. Good move. I set up a lot of these baby man moves and I kind of forget what happens with them. We wound up doing so many special moves for baby man, like with different um, equipment pieces, that uh, I just kind of got a little um, excited to keep doing them. So that's why he's got like the claw, he's got the whip. We got a few more like that. The Super Duty. We talked about today if there was enough time to do another Fighting Zoo Cup. I don't think we're going to. I feel pretty satisfied with what we got.
Yep, mm. I kind of remember this one. We used the T-Rex from the Land of Volcanoes as the base. I think you can learn a move from him. Every time he takes a hit. Did figure out what the rewards are going to be for the major side quests. I feel pretty good about those. You're going to get these magic gems, like special stones, maybe like a wishing rock or something like that. And uh, wishing rock is going to let you, um, different ones are going to let you they're going to let you change your elemental resistances. So up 296. That's nuts. Glad I did a lot of this stuff. It was a lot of work doing it in the middle of doing other missions and stuff too, but I'm really glad I did it. I think there's like five five cups. Vampire Wolfer makes it one more round. We might make it. That was a waste. Man, this guy's a tank. He's gotta be near the end, because that's like an end of. Muscled my way to the end of that one. Oh. Got a vitamin. Vitamin A. Good old HP. I 
thousand bucks. That was a tough one. The Cheetah Cup's available. So, I'm gonna go heal. I'll do another one maybe next video. I think I spent all night just doing the same thing. Actually, we can go go get that Dr. Yahoo statue. We can even fight the super boss there too. Not super boss, just the Matango fight. So we get the Matango stuff first. Not Matango, but uh, Yahoo. See, now you can jump on here. They all suck because the Robo Zorka box is gone. Let's see if there's a. Uh... This is a pretty good baby man move that you learn from this fight. I designed this particular battle to be uh, like Freya from Final Fantasy IX. This is like my favorite game of all time. Even more so than Axel, probably. Which is probably hard to say, but. It is what it is. I love them for different reasons. Final Fantasy IX is the first RPG I fell in love with. So there's Harry. He has an exploding stick. Staff. Every time he hits somebody with it, it, ex it explodes. That is not a design choice, that is part of the comic book and his powers. Just like that. Can't paralyze this guy. I love the way that cherry blossom move looks. It looks so good. You'd think the move that you learn would be cherry blossom, but it's MP draw. It's a, like a really great way to steal MP from an enemy. Buff my defense, and then I'm gonna go right for the attack. Alright. 
Time to go nuts. Alright, Vampire Wolf is nice and weak, ready to do his move. Them nice and near dead. Yeah, see, he's siphoning off eight MP. So that's fine. I'll get him. Shield makes everything super easy. damage this time. Oh, I'm charging. It's gonna get it now. Take it. A little more MP. Alright, so now we're done in the King of All Bad Guys. I thought many of these guys left to find. Just three, I think. There's Bobby, or Bob. Bobby's the leader. There's Bob, Mario, and Luigi. I wish I named them, but I didn't. And I'll go to the end before I leave. Make sure all these little Matanga clowns are there. Larry. Larry still needs dialogue. I fixed Bax the other day, so Bax should be around here. He might be in this building. Yep. Bax also doesn't have dialogue, so just a couple things to fix. Not terrible. At least they appear. That's what matters. The more things you put in a game, the more things you gotta check. Okay. Now I can get rid of Wolfer and bring that Warthog Mana for the party. And you know what? No, I need Baby Man to learn to move. 
items. E defense. That's two of them. Man, if Ghost Cop gets more defense than everyone else, that's insane. I'm not gonna waste that on Axe Cop. I'll give it to, uh... I'll give it to Ghost Cop. Ghost Cop's becoming a tank, man! I didn't expect this! But, like, that's the cool thing about this battle system and this, like, engine is, like, you can... You can customize it anybody. Like, his special's almost as good as Axe Cop's attack, so he's always gonna be healing, and he's got a ton of MP. And then you build up his defense like I've been doing. He's got, let's see, the most defense out of my whole party is Ghost Cub. So Ghost Cub's easily become, like, my best character. Next to Axe Cub. There's a couple things we didn't finish. Uh, we didn't resolve the conflict from the Batanga side quest. There's a quest to uh, stop Dr. Yahoo. That's not been finished. That's the quest that's going to let you get Liborg as a playable character. Uh, and then there's uh, a super, super boss, which I planned out today. I got mapped out all of his attacks. And I'm really excited about it. He's gonna be super hard. He's gonna be a huge pain in the ass to fight. But he's an optional fight. So, whatever. People want a challenge, they're gonna get it. Nobody will say this Axe Cap game didn't give them their money's worth. Okay, so. I guess it's a good thing I am using Ghost Cap because I need him right now. Chop down some trees. There's some stuff to find with Ralph Wrinkles. You can come back to this area later with the water queen, you can put all the fire out. There's a lot of people that don't totally get why the game prompts you to switch characters in the middle of a... In the middle of things. Oh, uh, that's because not everybody knows to use party swap. Not everybody knows to go into the party in his order. So there's three different ways to switch your characters around. And honestly, I like that. I like giving people options. You can do the same thing three different ways. Whatever is what you're thinking of. I wind up doing all of them. So this particular segment that we're getting ready to do, um, it took a lot of work. Because it's basically like one giant cutscene split between like nine different cuts. So you, you're in the ghost world and you gotta talk to all these people to figure out how they died. And they all think Bigfoot did it, but they also think Bigfoot didn't do it. So you gotta get all their stories together. And then uh, the leader of the town, he plays the whole thing in what he thinks is, what he thinks is the right order. And uh, oh, this is Soda Piggy's mom. Well, he plays the whole thing in what order he thinks is best to kind of help you figure out what you need to do. It's really weird doing a cutscene in so many chunks like this. There's a lot of prep work involved with doing a cutscene. So having to do the prep work in all of them. It was just like... 
it just was a lot of work, but it, it turned out really well, and it really broke up the gameplay. I mean, one of the characters is my mom, and one of them is my aunt. This is my aunt. See, they saw the three lumberjacks that we saw earlier. And this one's my mom. She mentions that her husband's out in London, which, uh, spoiler alert, they did go to London. Um, just turns out my dad is still there, I guess. Because he, my dad joined the DDR in the context of the game. I uh, started getting really... I really like doing the whole thing where I map the zones, which is like in the game editor. That's what, like, you can determine the zone where you step in, like a region. And, uh, I like doing things, like, sound-wise, based on what zone you're in. So if you're standing near something fiery, it does that. When you're with the generators at the lab, it was its own thing. It was cool. Stepping on grates and stuff like that. This makes the world feel more alive, I think. Oh, this seems cool. I had fun making screenshots of this one for promotion stuff. I wonder if I've seen them all now. I guess I found them all because Zach's able to put it together. And he snaps. It happens real fast, but he snaps. Like, aha! Zach is uh, designed to be uh, one of the groomsmen from Soda Piggy's Wedding. He's a really nice guy. So this is what he thinks is the right order for all the cutscenes. Thinks the Moon Warriors, or the, uh, Moon Warriors, the Grinch Monsters, or Xmas Monsters, and the Pterodactyl came in, Bigfoot came in to try to help, chasing them around. Tried to fight the pterodactyl. It was really fun doing the sweeps with the pterodactyl. And right before everything exploded, Bigfoot jumped away because he was in pursuit of the pterodactyl. Jumps up, grabs him, and flies away. The timing of that was really tricky, but it was really cool. Impressed with their handiwork, the uh, lumberjacks control the, body the dead bodies, and they open up the secret pathway into the mountain. I mentioned there's a magic stone up top, so it could or could not be a eternal stone. Or eternal gem. I think they're called gems. Okay, that's it for. We don't need Ghost Cop as much anymore.
We are gonna need Baby Man for at least the one fight to get that special move. And he will need that move. Let's check Baby Man's moves right now while I'm thinking about it. He's missing this one. I don't think he was missing anything, but maybe he is. He's so close to having 100 MP to do the egg drop move. He's got so many moves. Oh no, I beat, need Baby Man for the whole mission. Colors in this level are so good. That's the guy we need to fight. Xmas monster. It's basically cast regen on the entire party. It doesn't do much, but if you boost up Baby Man's special, you can be pretty beefy. Exodus magic. The way the purples and the yellows pop, it looks so good. Okay, so we're gonna mark the path to the end. Do you have a vitamin? No, it's not. I'm going to temporarily swap out Ghost Scout for Ralph Wrinkles. 
Eliminate this game. I know their secrets. He mostly finds garbage items like this, but every once in a while he finds something good. Yeah, he's missing the third item. Third what? Attack here. Uses HP to siphon off MP. certain amount of HP and I'm not gonna bother buffing up his health. Okay, I know we're getting ready to fight Pterodactyl. Swap out him for that. Yeah, we're hiding man needs a little bit of love. To get a good level up too. Got a lot of free, free aerial moves. The pre-boss grab was good. So if he could kill it there. This fight's not hard at all. And you can stun him. Banana. It's almost like I meant to throw bananas at him. Give him a virus. That's good. It's not even fun when it's not this hard. Chop. This is the reverse mortal, mortal claw.
Alright, well we know we need Battler Hard Man coming up. I'll tag out Ghost Cop for a while. Oh, I need to unlock that save point. So many substations in this area. Maybe I'll go back and I'll make it so if you walk on the wood, it makes like a wooden, like a wood sound. Didn't get away with that one. Yeah, all the yellow and the orange and stuff really make the whole area not even look like it's an old, reused area. It feels really brand new.
last piece. Buddy back. That made that Warthog man just a little bit longer. Lumberjacks were from the American Chopper story arc. They wanted to join Axe Cop's team, but Axe Cop said no, because you guys use chainsaws, and chainsaws are lame. hiding secrets around. I like to hope people are having fun with those. Attack Rebirth Potion. Game's trying to tell you something. This part's pretty cool. It's real subtle, so it's like, if you don't really use it, it's not the end of the world, but it does add some backstory to the overall world. woman possibly that the King of England told everybody about. Basically, the stone acts like the stone in the Indian Jones in the Temple of the Doom movie, where it's there to protect the people. I thought that was kind of fun. I like building into the world where it's not like too crazy.
This is basically the elixir of the game. Because you can't ever buy an elixir anywhere. So, you just, you, you kind of know when you get them, you gotta hold on to them for a special fight. Fire Slicer. Probably use Vampire Wolf or probably use the, the Dream Team. Although Baby Man's not totally necessary, but he does have a lot of really good moves that might come in handy. A Dream Team! This is a good item to find. So our first fighting scroll. I think, um... I'll probably default use it on Axe Cap, just because I think I always do. So when this fight's over, I'll go back to town and I'll use it on him to boost his dominant stats. That's Bigfoot. I always like this part, this part's good. Chainsaw Force 3. Bob Jr. I think is the hardest one. Slightly. I already got one down. These fights can really get out of control if you just kind of let them. This is going to be over in no time. This guy's gotta be dead soon. There we go. Level up for Ghost Cop. Oh, this is kind of a shame right here. 
We were gonna do our super boss against Satan instead of the Sea Ghost. But the Sea Ghost fits more with the plot. Satan just just kind of acts like a vague antagonist. We even drew this really great pre-boss graphic and everything for Satan. That's okay. XCOP still has had many battles and many altercations with Satan over the years. scroll on our buddy Axe Cap. And then I'll probably call it for streaming tonight. That's still a good hour. So that Axe Cap's gonna be super powerful. Items. We'll heal. I'm actually going to be working on a thing later this week. So, um,. Maybe the Feast for Four yields, like, a piece of ham like, as an item, as leftovers. Since I played this game, I don't really hate playing it because there's like a lot, so many different ways to play it. Like I didn't play it with Ghost Cop before, so it's fun. Planet Auburn. It's Wexter, the Mecha Phantom we fought. I 
don't see Harry on here, so I have to look into that. We definitely fought Harry. And Harry's in the town. I think that's special is when you get sharpened. Sharpen's a good move. MP50, special 40. I don't remember what that move is. All like all these moves where it doesn't show his stats, those are all moves that you get as rewards for like side quests or like things in the fighting zoo. That's like a general tip, I guess, is like if you don't see a stat thing next to it, like in Baby Man's instance, you have to get it from an enemy. Or you have to uh, get it from a story event. Yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna save and uh, should be able to knock out Planet Auburn tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching.